So, good afternoon everyone, my name's Imogen, um, and I'm going to talk to you today about how we can reduce the rubbish that we send to landfill when we demolish a building. So to start, I'd like you all to have a look around the, build, the room and see the different materials that it's made up of. And think about which of these, if we demolished it, we could use again, what we could turn into something else, and also have a think about how much of it would just be rubbish at the end of the day. So I'm currently working on the biggest civil engineering project in the UK, High Speed 2, which is a new railway going from London to Birmingham. And as part of that, we need to demolish quite a lot of big old buildings. But HS2 have set us a challenge in this, and we need to reduce the amount of rubbish that we send to landfill to just 5%. Now, a lot of these buildings contain dangerous materials, um, so-called hazardous materials that could cause damage to our health and to the local environment. And in getting rid of those safely, we might use up all of our 5%. So what are we going to do with all of the other materials? Well, we're going to clean them up and we're going to use them on a different project. We're going to recycle them, return them into something else, use them for a different purpose. Or we might use them to create energy that will power our homes and schools. Often, when people think of demolition, they think of wrecking balls and explosives, banging, crashing, smashing up a building until there's nothing left. But that's not what we're doing on HS2. We're going to deconstruct and we're going to dismantle so we can reuse and recycle all those different elements. Now, here I have my two models. Now, this is the same model, uh, both made up of three different elements. Um, so, we have vanilla, which represents concrete, the most widely used material in construction. We have metals, represented by the chocolate cake. Now, metals are the most valuable materials usually used in construction. And then we've got the rich tea biscuits, and they represent those hazardous materials that we need to keep separate. So, I've got my PPE in place to keep me safe during the demolition. So, <laughs> that how we used to demolish a building. We'd smash it up, but it's now full of dangerous materials and the whole thing has to go to landfill. Now, before demolishing this building, I prepared a demolition sequence, which is a sort of design for how I'm going to demolish it. And I also wrote a plan of what I'm going to do with all of these different materials. And now, by separating it like this, it means that I can take each of these different elements and I can use them again. So in the example of concrete, I might use it for fill in roads. For the metals, I might sell them for scrap to make additional profit. And those hazardous materials can be safely removed of. And for now, I might use some of this for a bit of energy from waste. <laughs> <laughs> 